Oh, looky there. This is mine. <laughs> Why well, you you didn't find it. <laughs> Where are you going? It's mine. So what's up guys? We are back with another video. You might be thinking where we are. We're at Jimmy Houston's place. Well anyways, today we're going to be shed hunting for deer and elk horns. That's right. So a lot of you guys have actually been requesting us to do a shed hunting video. Look at there. You found a deer. She doesn't have any horns though, does she? Yeah. A lot of you guys have been requesting us to do a shed hunting video and we just don't find very many sheds on our property. Hi, Lucy. What are you doing? Does he roll over me? Huh? We don't find many sheds on our property. Um, we do see some really good bucks during deer season. I'm not going to lie but they don't stay on our property year round very much. They come in because we put in food plots and we feed the does and we try to keep the deer in good condition. So there's a lot of food in the fall on our property. The bucks come in, breed the does, and then they take off and they, they're really not on our property most of the year. So Jimmy called the other day and said, hey, I've been, I've been finding a few sheds out. You wanna come down and do some shed hunting? And he lives on a very large property. Part of it is high fenced and has some elk on it and lots of big white tailed deer. So he's been finding some really good sheds and said, hey, let's do a little shed hunting video. So here we are. It is a gorgeous, gorgeous hey. day. I mean, I think we need to be out there on the lake though. That's where Houston wants to go. He's already hit Jimmy up wanting to go fishing. What'd you say? I said we might go fishing today later. Oh yeah? You gonna let me out fish you again? No. Hey, I won the last time we went fishing with him. Hey, come here, Lucy. 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 <laughs> what is it, Lucy? Lucy. Huh? What is it? You want to see what this camera is, don't you? Did the deer come along with you here? Melbourne, yeah, that's Lucy there. Lucy, you want to shed, huh? Oh, that's Melbourne. Hard to tell them apart anymore, you know, isn't that something? It's hard to see those little nubs on his head <laughs> until he turns it. Nubbins. He's basically as big as she is. I wonder how many times people have gone shed hunting and taken a deer with them shed hunting. What do you think? Zero. Huh? You think zero? Yeah. Well, I know it one time. <laughs> Today. <laughs> Today, today's one time I think they did. What do you think, Lucy? Today's one time. Hmm? Found one. Made you look. Huh? Made you look. <laughs> How did I know that you were going to do that? I don't know. Huh? How did I know that you were going to do know. that? Found one. Made you look. Right there, you see. Hey, <laughs> you and I both walked right by it. You see it now? Wow. <laughs> wow, looky there. Yeah, you and I walked right by that. Can you believe that? I, I mean, I've that. Houston, I that's a big deer, buddy. That's a nice deer. That's a big, that's a big deer. That's five. I you wonder where the other side's at. I don't know. It might be around here close. Well, you, always, you always want to look around close because sometimes they lose both of them right close together. Other times they might be a mile apart. You never know. Let me see that. Do you know if that's the right side or the left side? Which side of the deer you think it is? Mm. Hold it up and tell me what size you think it is. Right. You think it'd be the right side? It sure would be. One of the ways you can always tell, I've seen a lot of really good deer hunters that pick them up and turn them the wrong way. But you always look at these brow tines. Look at that one right there. See that brow tine right there? That's always going to be into the middle. So if you turned it over on the other side, you know, and right. you hold it up like that, that wouldn't be right, you know, so you hold just it left. and it'd be just about like that. It's, that's the right hand side of that deer. That's pretty cool, isn't it? Lucy doesn't act like she liked that horn too much. <laughs> you think, no, she doesn't. She <laughs> act like she don't like them at all. She don't want anything to do. No, she's she don't want anything like, to do with these guys, does she? I remember that. That was not fun. <laughs> she did not have fun with that. So we found one shed so far. Um, off of a really nice buck and there's a lot of mass to that so if you're not familiar with with white-tailed deer and what they do they they don't have horns they have antlers so they shed their antler and regrow a new one every year and uh, sometimes you'll get lucky and find the other 
the other side and have a match and sit really close and then sometimes you won't i mean you may walk for half a mile and not find that matching set to the other side and he may carry he may drop one side today and carry the other one for two or three days so it may not be anywhere close but i mean we don't have anything better to do today and we're social distancing from the rest of the world finding some really cool deer antlers so that uh, lab there's beamer that's jimmy's uh labrador and a lot of people will take a lab and train them to find sheds there's a lot of people that that have professional shed hunting dogs i'd love to be, have, say that bella will go out and find a shed bella likes to go out and find a twinkie not so much the sheds but if you start them young and train them on these things they leave a very specific scent and you could take you could find you a few sheds even cut them up into smaller pieces and hide them and let your dog find them it's just just make a game out of it and you could train your own shed dog beamer not so much maybe maybe milburn and lucy the pet deer could help us find some sheds but i wouldn't bet on that either big deer track and a big elk track right there side by side. This is an area they run back in the woods quite a bit. And uh, we've, got a, we've got a deer a bow stand right here. And I think one of the things we just kind of spread out a little bit and just walk through and look. I don't know who Jimmy is. His name is Jimmy Houston. He has a YouTube channel called Jimmy Houston Outdoors. I'm pretty sure. And so, if you want to go down there, subscribe, ring the notification bell, and like the video to him. So, I'll leave a link to his YouTube channel. Oh my dad. You see, you just, sometimes you just see a little tip. Sometimes you just see a little tip of a deer sport deer horn sticking out. Yeah. Sometimes just a little tip, and that's all. I'll tell you one thing: walking through this thick stuff seems like it'd be a it'd be a great place to find some shed antlers because you got to imagine the deer and the elk are walking through here, and uh, as their antlers get loose, they'll fall off. I mean, obviously the elk use this because that rub is about four feet off the ground. But when you're walking through this stuff so, so thick, I was like, well, how am I gonna keep up with Houston and Jimmy? Well, you can hear Jimmy, his voice carries through these woods. I'm not worried about losing those guys. Houston, what'd you find there? A head skull. A head skull? You mean a hog skull? Yeah. Not a very big pig, but that's what it was. Ah, he bought you. I mean, that's what we're done with. Oh, we, we want to hit about one or two more spots. Are you even looking around, Houston? Are you looking for rattlesnakes? Hey, can I ask you a question? If you walk this far from a rattlesnake, you think it might bite you? It might, it might not. Yeah. What would you, what would, <laughs> what if you were to walk that close to a deer horn? You reckon it'd hit you on the leg? No. Look what Beamer's got. What? What? <laughs> you almost stepped on that, Houston. Oh, look at that. <laughs> I mean, in the open even. Oh, looky there. This is mine. <laughs> Why well, you you didn't fight it. <laughs> Where are you going? It's mine. Well, you might look around here. The other one might be here. They got one on each side of them. Here's something laying right here. That's just a bone there. Yeah. That's just a bone. That's just 
the bone. Which side is that? Oh, that's it. There. That's it right I think there. That's a left. That's a left. That's a pretty good sized deer, Houston. Yeah, that's a big deer. You said if we find one or two antlers, you said you would take me fishing. Broke his brand new gate over. You're right here, Jimmy. Got one? You there? You got one? Yeah. Let me get over here. Elk or deer? It's a deer. Yeah, yeah. Oh, nice. Nice buck. Nice Look at that. Yep. Man. Yeah, right side. I'd like to have seen that guy walking around. <laughs> huh. Another. That's five and almost six. He's almost got another one coming out there. That's good. I'm starting to think all you grow around here is ten points. Well, it's all you're gonna get five. I know that. That's pretty good. <laughs> Usually all I ever find is just a little old bitty, you know, a spike or we got two points or something. I hear you saying that. I hadn't seen you find one yet. <laughs> <laughs> I hadn't found any either. I'm telling you, they're hard to find. Let's just walk down the edge of this creek to be a good area. That's the creek the uh, lake's on right there. Yeah, I, was pretty, I thought the other side would be a good one to walk on. That's a real, real pretty over there. I don't use that a lot, but if I get over on that side, it gets just wider and wider as we get closer to the lake. And, wouldn't be able to get back on this side. So we've just about walked Houston's legs off today. He decided to take a break and stay back at the buggy. Hey, show us what you got. <laughs> well, my dad got it. Like <laughs> Standing, mine. hey, you holding in that deer horn, that makes a that makes it look like a giant buck, you know it? I kill a big deer, I'm gonna put you behind him. What do you got? A lizard. A lizard? Yeah. A lizard. Is it one of them? On them biting lizards? No. He ain't gonna bite. You. Uh oh, he's fixed to crawl up your shirt sleeve. You know, Emily listens to an old song called "The Mississippi Squirrel" about the story about the day the squirrel went to church. Oh, I know. Climbed up the guy's pants leg. You're fixing to have that happen to you with a lizard. Look at his tail. His tail's about to come off. Oop, there's his tail. He'll regrow another piece. That's what they do when they get scared. They can drop that tail and then a predator will eat this and think that's, hey, that's something to eat. And the lizard will be still and he'll get away. Jimmy, I got a new friend. It's a lizard. Show us what all you found, Houston. What do you think, buddy? We found this one, this one. This one. Do you think, hey, let's look and see if we got any matching. We hadn't really looked at them good because we've just been walking. Let's see if we got any horns that match up with each other. We They came off the same deer. Now these two come from the same size, so they're about the same size deer. That looked pretty close, but that doesn't match because that's that size. That's the same size. What, what's that? Which size does that one come? Let's see that this one. This is the right. No. Oh, he's oh, the, so, well, it, might be match. it could be, but if he is, this brow tine's a lot smaller than this one. That could be, but I don't think so. Yeah, I don't think so. Probably. And let's see. We got this, this is the last one. one you found, isn't it? We got this one. That's a that's much smaller right. deer. That's a right. And uh, we got only one left, so he, and he obviously doesn't match with this one. This deer's a lot younger deer than this one. So we obviously didn't find the match. I don't think we did. Well, it, it's a possibility. We had those two are matches. That's the closest, but the, this, the, the, the kicker is the brow tines. Yeah, and he's awful. Different. This one's really smooth at that's the base, smooth, and this and that one's got a lot. I doubt, I doubt that those guys, that's the same one. So we found these four, so there's four more out there that'll match these four. You want to go look for them, or you want to go fishing? Fishing first. <laughs> hey Houston, what and, about and, what about this? What about though? This guy? Look at this. Uh, this is this is the one I found I found uh, last year. And but uh, it's mine now. <laughs> I don't think so. <laughs> That's an elk horn there. That's a big horn. Can I have it? That's a big horn. I don't know. What are you gonna do with it? I've I've never actually like. What are you gonna do with it? Stuff. We we don't need that elk horn. What are you I do. do. What are you gonna do with it? <laughs> Keep it in my room. Put it in your room. You don't even go in your room. <laughs> How would you like to carry that around on your head all the time? Oh, that'd be so heavy. Huh? You'd have you'd some have strong, strong neck muscles, huh? You'd have two of them, not one, but two of them. That's a pretty good day shed hunting, though. I found this one the other day. And that's not this year's shed. That's a, that's an old. Yeah, shed. it's that's a little sun faded on that yeah, that side. You can tell where it was. These are all this year's sheds. That's an old one there. 
but uh, we found all these ones. But that's pretty good. That's pretty good. Pretty so good you want to go fishing, huh? On the boat. <laughs> on my new Ranger? I got a brand new one. You had not been on this one yet. Ranger? Mm -hmm. Oh, the boat. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Shell Rotella boat, but it's a Ranger boat. But it says Shell Rotella on the side of it. Mm, that is a good bait. It's a little swimming minnow. It'll catch them, too. thing is fancy. Okay. <laughs> Can I go with you? <laughs> It's kind of crowded at the boat ramp today. Jimmy's, yeah, it is. Jimmy's Lake here. And we're in the backyard of Jimmy's house, basically. But uh, there's another boat on the water today. I've never fished a lake with Jimmy out here when there's another <laughs> boat on the water. So And, so, and the, the ranch road was crowded too. Yeah. We ran into another mule. <laughs> yeah, we about got ran over out there, didn't we, Houston? <laughs> Traffic jam. I thought we were supposed to be social distancing. <laughs> <laughs> Looky there, spinnerbait man. Oh, yeah, looky there. Pretty nice one, too. <laughs> Whoa! What I'm talking about. Uh, <laughs> Spin him over here where I can reach him, Houston. <laughs> what I'm talking about. This is heavy. Yeah. There you go, buddy. Put your, put your thumb in his mouth. Hold him tight. Put your thumb in. Hold him tight. There you go. You can put your other hand underneath him if you need to to hold him up. There you go. Good fish. Nice one. You gonna let him go? Very nice. Mm, yeah. Yeah. Set him. Just set him in the water, easy. Very good. Boy. So what's more fun, fishing or hunting deer shed? I can't really tell. You can't tell. We've all caught one. All right. Good. Nobody's winning so far. Hey. I, I think I had two on. I don't know what you're talking about, buddy. <laughs> well, I reeled it in. I, so. I, I remember somebody running back here and that stealing might, my fishing pole. Hey, that might be a half and a half. <laughs> you reckon? Hey, let me show you something. This is the way you kiss the bass. Ready? <laughs> hey, hey, look at it. Watch. Watch. I know how to. Well, yeah. just out fishing Houston. I'm not giving you my pole this time, buddy. Uh oh. <laughs> Get that nice fish, Houston. Mm. Let me see. Ooh, yeah, that's a nice one. That's uh, I'm up on you now, Houston, for sure. And it's on the wrong side. Won't you learn how to do it on that side too? The other trees. Look at this one. Houston. Look at that guy. Oh, look at him in that water. Oh my. Oh my. Oh, that's a good way to break the rod. <laughs> that's a nice fish, Houston. Looky there. What do you think about that one? Big. Ah. That's what I'm talking about. Come around here and look. Here you go. I'm gonna show you this one more time. Ah, yes. You want to go fishing, Lucy? Lucy, come on. Don't go get in the boat. Houston, what? I got a question for you. What? Who won, me or you? Who caught the most fish? I caught zero. Hey, you I want to hear you say it. Come on. <laughs> Who caught the most fish? You. Why are you running away? <laughs> hey, I just want to make sure we get it on video because you'll try to tell everybody you outfished me. Right? He wants yeah. proof. You're not taking all of his antlers home, buddy. I he said you could have one. Pick one you want. Pick one you want. Any of them. Biggest one, littlest one, it doesn't matter. Pick one that you like. You mm. like that one? Why do you look so sad? <laughs> I'm not. I mean you didn't <laughs> catch you didn't catch any fish. You got a lot of things to be sad about right now, don't you? <laughs> <laughs> It'll get better. 
I want I, I want to know something, Houston. Look at me. What? Did the coronavirus keep you from catching fish? Mm -hmm. Is that what it was? You gonna blame it on the corona? That's you let me out fishing not. with the corona? No. Absolutely <laughs> not. Corona had nothing to do with it, did it? Nothing to do with it. You going to sleep already? Tired. <laughs> Tired? We just left. Houston and I just got home. Okay, so Jimmy Houston's ranch is literally, at the most, six miles from our house, okay? Two miles of that is his driveway and then to get out the gate. When we left the gate at Jimmy's, Houston was awake. He is gone. I'm telling you what, we about walked the legs off that little kid today. And uh, we didn't find a ton of sheds, but we found a lot more than what we would have found here at our house. <clears throat> we just don't find many sheds on our property. And when we do, they're usually really small bucks. I'm telling you what, Jimmy's got some monster bucks on his property and he lives, he lives on about a 2000 acre ranch. And a large portion of that is in a high fence um, facility and they have that's why he has elk there they're they're in captivity basically they're, they're on a 2,000 acre ranch but they're not wild elk necessarily so he has quite a quite a large herd of elk we didn't find any elk sheds I was really hoping we could find some elk sheds he has found one you guys saw that but anyways it was a lot of fun I outfished Houston glad he's asleep right now because I can say it I outfished Houston and I had him just admit it on video so you guys saw we didn't show a ton of the fishing footage we were just having fun man we were just just kick back relax fishing having a blast i tried to get a little bit of footage for you guys the main camera went dead so all we had was the gopro but uh i think we caught about 16 bass and two or three of them were close to five pounds a lot of decent sized fish it was a ton of fun and uh houston's exhausted and i'm gonna get him out and I guess let him take a nap. I mean, I've only walked, according to my watch, uh, 7,500 steps since about noon today. So we got to Jimmy's about noon. But anyways, guys, um, if you have not subscribed to Jimmy Houston's YouTube channel or on Facebook, go check him out. He's got a huge audience on Facebook and uh, he's growing his YouTube channel. And it's been a, it's just been an awesome experience getting to know Jimmy on a personal level. Um, you know, I grew up watching Jimmy Houston on TV, as did probably a lot of you guys. The guy's been on TV for 42, 43 years, and uh, it's been it's been really cool getting to help him grow his YouTube channel, help him grow his audience online, and just getting to know the real side of Jimmy Houston that you don't see on TV. So anyways, guys, like I said, go subscribe to Jimmy's channel. I'll leave links in the description box. Check him out on YouTube, Facebook, all that stuff, and uh, you know you can watch him on TV. He's still on TV 40 something years later. But anyways, guys, I guess that's all I've got for today. Houston's not gonna wrap the video up. I'm not gonna wake him up just for that. But uh, guys, thanks for watching. We hope you enjoyed it. Y'all have a great day. And as always, we'll see you on the next video. Mm -hmm.